how to age and distress wood. Make it rustic. If you want it, you got it. two benches here, at least the tops, that we're building for a farmhouse table to accompany it. And we're going to go ahead and distress these two tops, and I'll show you the steps that I take to, to do this. So the tools we're going to use to distress these tables are the following. A hammer to give it dents, a sheetrock handsaw to scratch it up, give, dig in, and all to give wormhole punctures as if the wood had been eaten for years by different types of bugs. A chain which we'll use to strike the wood and give it more dense in random patterns. The steel brush to give it micro scratches and or deep scratches. A grinder to shape the wood and we're going to torch it some eye protection and hearing protection so let's get started with this So we've distressed the two bench tops and I'll just show you a little bit of the damage. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and grind them, add dips and valleys. That's the next step. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and torch all this wood. And again, like everything else, you can go heavy to light. And that'll darken up some of the crevices and fibers in the wood and give it contrast. But we won't see the magic of it until we add the stain and clear coat. So let's go ahead and torch these um, these two bench tops. And so this is how it looks torched. There's much more dimension to it. And once we, uh, we're gonna give it a little sanding once to take off the uh, jagged edges. But once we sand it and then add the stain and seal, it's gonna have beautiful depth and dimension. So that's, that's next. here's the color we're getting you can see that anywhere there's gouges and scratches it darkens up nice and of course the uh, torch allows for more visible grain so we'll keep going and show you the results even at this stage you can see the nooks and gouges scratches 
wormholes. And what the clear coat will do, depending on how much sheen you add, will highlight the distressed features. And that's totally up to you. Anything from a matte all the way to a high gloss. So we're giving it a light coat just to fill in the gaps, crevices, nooks, and then we'll give it a secondary coat to build up, you know, and then it'll get a nice even sheen, but you could see already a nice glossiness to it, and it's just pretty fantastic. And this is the uh, before and the after, so you have an idea. And that's with the uh, helmsman. Alright guys, I hope you found the primer on distressing wood of value. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Escajelo Woodworking.